Hello, Lulas. So I'm here with baby Taylor. And baby Taylor is the Fibby Sculpt by Lillian Breville. She was painted and rooted by Claire Tellum. And, oh, she was also poured by Claire Tellum. She has a full body silicone baby. And um, <clears throat> before I get started, if you're not subscribed to this channel, please make sure that you go ahead and smash that subscribe button. And make sure you click the bell to be notified when I do the next video or next live stream, which I owe you guys a live stream. I haven't did one in a long time. And um, also, if you want to be a part of my exclusive live streams and videos, you can join my paid membership, which is called the Chatterbox. Um, the link is in the description bar. It'll say join. Um, which it is four dollars and ninety nine cents to join um and that's per month so um yeah so and if you really really want to know what's going on in the chatterbox the only thing you can do is join for yourself so that you can see exactly what's going in there and if you um even if you want to try it and you do it for a month and you don't like it and you leave the other thing about the chatterbox that I find really cool is that um, there's a lot of there's a lot of members in there, and some are active and some are not. And the good thing about it is that no one can see who's actually in the chatterbox unless you're actively commenting and stuff like that. Um, I can see who's all in there, but other members can't see who joined. So feel free to. Um, to join if you want to just see what's in there for yourself um but anyway also guys don't forget i'm gonna do this every now and then and remind you guys that when i hit 55,000 subscribers i will be giving away a fully completed reborn baby with um rooted hair it'll be the biracial or ethnic um baby and it will be a limited edition kit or you know an addition type kit um it will not be a real born not that it's nothing against the real borns i just um i prefer the other other kits most most of the time I, there are some real borns that i do like so anyway um i was thinking because a lot a lot has been going on and um we had so much fun <laughs> in the chatterbox this weekend um which was crazy because i didn't i basically kind of started my first vlogging and my family and it just things just kind of went in all different directions that i wasn't expecting but anyway um <clears throat> and i was just thinking that you know we'd be so you know worried about what someone's thinking of us and stuff like that and, and you know as a decent human being we do, everybody should, you know, care to a certain degree of, you know, what people think of them. Like, you don't want people to, you know, you don't want to have this uh, outlook that you're a, a monster or something. I don't know. But at the same time, you can only control yourself. And you can't spend your whole life worrying about what other people think or you know what other people are saying about you and the reason why i say that is because um i have some friends that you know ask me all the time like oh i you know how are you so comfortable with your babies and if i decide to take my babies out i'm fine with that you know i get people roll their eyes when they find out it's a doll da, 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 da. i'm not worried about what they think about me and my hobby I'm just enjoying it the way I want to enjoy it. And, you know, everybody have their thing. And, you know, if people think I'm crazy, that's fine because I, I have my dolls. That's fine. It's my hobby. Um, so I, you know, I've always been the type of person that I've always made up my own mind. I've never let other people tell me what I can and cannot do, you know, who I can talk to, who I can't talk to, you know. So is no different with my dolls. If my dolls bring me joy and this is what I want to do, if this is what I want to spend my money on it, so on so be it. 
you know, even I remember, um, <clears throat> I remember being 16, my sweet 16 party and <clears throat> my grandmother was taking me to Walmart because she asked me what I wanted to do. I, I think I got money for my birthday, I guess. And she was, I wanted to go to Walmart to spend the money. And she was saying, what are you going to get? And she had a friend with her. And I said, I'm getting, a, um, I want to look for the new baby alive. Because I guess it was a new baby alive at the time. And she says, but you already have one. And I said, yeah, but this one does something else. Or it's, I don't know if it was just when it started doing the pooping or peeing. I don't know. But I was like, I want my baby, you know, my baby alive. And she was like, okay. So she was like, well, I'm going to look over here, I think in the sewing section or something. And she was like, okay, go over there and then come back here or we'll come over there or whatever. So I'm, you know, go over there to look for my doll. But before I walk off, her friend says to, says to my grandmother, like, she's buying a doll at 16. Like you, you don't think that she's too, she's like, aren't you too old to be playing with dolls? And my grandma like, oh, I'd rather her play with dolls than, you know, the, the, the old old folks, used, you know, the older uh, adults be. I'd rather her play with dolls than boys, you know, type thing or whatever. Um, not that that stopped anything, but anyway, that's a whole nother subject. But she was like, um, yeah, she's always loved dolls. So, it, I mean, it doesn't bother me. And she was like, hmm, she was like, so she was like, hmm, that's kind of odd. You know, most, most kids her age are not, you know, playing with dolls. And, you know, I, I walked off. I don't remember the rest of the conversation that her and my grandmother had. I'm sure my grandmother had a lot more to say after that because my grandmother is outspoken. Go figure. That's where I get it from. Um, but, you know, they're good friends. It's, it wasn't a big deal. But my point is, is that, you know, even back then, people was trying to say, aren't you too old to play with dolls? You know, type thing. Like, but, I mean, I've had friends to collect some of the to me might seem weird like they collect like seashells or um stamps and all that and we always talk about these things so i'm not gonna get too too much into that but um i i have other hobbies and i have you know things that i like to do i i like to write i like to do poetry um i like decorating i like a lot of different things but this hobby itself um I think have brought me the most joy and I've stuck to this hobby longer than anything else. And when I say this hobby, it's the difference between my collecting and my hobby because when I say hobby for this, I'm 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 adding in the social media, the YouTubing, the um Facebooking, the Instagram and all that stuff because I've always been a doll collector, but I've never I wasn't always a doll collector of these type dolls. I mean, I was just Walmart dolls and, you know, dolls that I could pick up from, like, toy stores and stuff like that. And that was mostly bought by my parents and my grandparents. But when I got to an age, I started liking, looking for realistic-looking dolls. And um, I know I told this story, but it's been a while ago. Um, we were invited. My grandfather, um, the owner of the company, invited us to their uh, event at their home and when we went to these people house the lady had when we walked in she had dolls everywhere she had dolls standing up dolls holding balls dolls sitting on the floor playing on mats you would walk around the corner and, and sometimes you would jump and be like oh and I took so, I was so fascinated with the dolls everybody else was doing everything else nobody really was paying attention to it because they were kind of like standing up and, you know, kind of like look like, okay, you know, like little statues or something like that. But for me, I was actually um, intrigued by the, um, the dolls. And so she saw my fascination and she said, oh, come here. And she said, you love dolls, huh? And my grandma said, yeah, she always has. And so she says, can I show her um, more can we can, would you be okay if I take her back to my back room and she's like yeah she says she says you can come along so my grandmother you know I held my granny hand and we walked back there and she had a whole nursery and I I promise you I don't think I was I think I was maybe I don't know how old I was I was fairly young I was more than 
seven or eight. Maybe I was, maybe I was around, yeah, maybe I was around nine or ten or something. I don't know. But she, we went back there and she had babies in high chairs. She had babies in um, car seats. She had them, she had this nursery, she had beautiful cribs, and she had these beautiful babies. She had babies that looked like they were yawning. She had look, babies that looked like they was crying. There was babies in like um, the walkers. Um, and it was like, babies everywhere and it was so cool and I didn't know nothing about reborns or anything back then they they had to be reborns right because there's no other dolls that look like all that and um I was like oh my god and my grandmother was like looking and she said that I think she said that she made them and I was so fascinated I think her name was Miss Dewey something like that but I was so fascinated and I told my grandmother, I said, my grandmother said, I'm going to look for you some realist, a realistic doll. She said that. She always said that. And I said, I said, grandma, when I, when I grow up, I'm going to have dolls just like this. I want a room just like this. And I always remember that memory and I never thought in a million years that I would really ever be able to have that. And so when I start collecting these dolls, you know, I really wasn't thinking about that to be honest about that memory but when I got to have my little nursery it was kind of like just somewhere to put the dolls but as you kind of progress and get into the hobby now when I'm doing my nursery now it's kind of like I want that look I want the babies to be doing things and different expressions and stuff like that and you know that's why I I don't think I can never be just a silicone collector or just a reborn collector I think I'll always collect a mix of the both because I feel like the reborns you get a lot of different expressions and stuff like that and I'm not I'll be honest no offense to nobody else I'm not gonna spend thousands of dollars on a baby that's stuck yawning or crying because that would irritate me after a while so but I will in a reborn so but I can understand if people you know do love it especially if you could put a pacifier in the mouth I guess that would work but yeah so I've always been a doll collector. So when people come at me, you know, awkward and stuff like that, I'd be like, whatever. And, you know, so be your own person. Be conf confident in who you are. If your family don't accept your hobby, then don't, don't, don't try to force it. Don't try to make them, you know, accept you. You know what I mean? Don't, don't worry about it. And I know that's easier said than done, but I mean, it's your hobby. It's not their hobby. And they're not going to understand it if they're not doll collectors. Plain and simple. We could try all day for that, but sometimes they just don't understand it. They may come to respect that this is your thing and leave you alone type thing. But, you know, make your own choices. And that's that's the same about this community. If you If you find someone that you enjoy and you like, don't let people tell you who you can associate yourself with or you can deal with. You know, that's a, a, a bully type mentality where people want to shame you for liking what you like. You 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 have to to recognize that it's for what it is. You know, it's like we're not in high school. So, you know, just just be your own self. Be your own self, be confident in who you are, you know, you're great and you have the right to have happiness and joy and enjoy whatever it is that you you enjoy nobody can't tell you what 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 to like i mean gosh what if somebody told me i had to eat squash i hate squash and it oh you gotta like squash if you don't like squash you're not gonna be great i mean that's kind of like yeah oh don't like dolls you shouldn't collect dolls you should be collecting wine glasses you know, I don't know. But anyway, guys, <laughs> um, I just wanted to come on and show you my little stinker pool, too. Um, Sometimes I don't have, like, a lot to do with her because if I've all... <laughs> little head just fall back. If I've already um had her change and I'm not ready to dress her, I don't want to keep, like, overdressing her and doing that. And I don't like the whole rubbing the bottle in and out all the time in their mouth just you know i've told you guys that before but so anyway we are doing our little thing and we're gonna go 
But thanks again for watching and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and thank you for all your comments and your time. Later!